play with the Pretty Fresh ColourPop makeup line. I believe this is supposed to be a lighter weight makeup foundation, tinted moisturizer, uh, hydrating formula than their instant, what's it called, the no filter foundation. I love their no filter foundation. It is by far the best medium to full coverage for the price point. ColourPop is killing it. But they haven't come out with a lot of stuff. So when I saw that they had the Pretty Fresh foundation, I was like, let me try that. Let me try that. We'll see how this pops off. So I ordered the entire brush. These are sponges. I ordered the entire blending sponge kit. It comes with a velvet, a detail, an hourglass, a complexion, and a silicone sponge. Right off the bat, this velvet one feels different, weird. The detail, I think it is more like a normal sponge that we would use. Um, they are very dense, dry. The hourglass, I've never used an hourglass sponge before, so I have no idea what it's for. The complexion, this one looks like my Real Techniques one. I actually have the green Real Techniques sponge. And the silicone sponge, the silicone sponges, I think they're supposed to not absorb as much product. I got the Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer. I also got the setting mist and I got the hydrating foundation. Now if I am correct, this is a new hydrating formula. I love the no filter foundation. It was one of my holy grails. I just haven't repurchased it for some reason. I want to spend $40 on Born This Way as opposed to $12 on no filter. Oh, looks like I got two different foundations. I think I got two different colors. I did because I didn't know which one was going to match me best. I also got this pretty fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. Let's see how this works. I love their no filter concealer. So we'll see how this holds up to that. I did get two concealers as well, one to brighten and one to conceal. And I got a third one to contour. So I'm going to use the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist along with my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer to prime my face. I'm just going to push the putty primer into my pores right here just to make sure that my pores are blurred. Okay, it's not super fine mist. It's like coconut. I quickly just filled in the sparse areas in my brows. I just groomed my eyebrows, so they are very nice and clean. That hydrating mist, the setting mist, it does feel, I think with my poreless primer, it feels a little bit tacky, which I like as a primer. I'm not sure how I'm going to like it as a setting spray though. So I'm going to go ahead and contour my face using the medium dark. Is this too light to be a contour? It's too light. For sure not using that. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the pretty fresh tinted moisturizer and I got the tinted moisturizer in light 8n I really love the sleek packaging I'm gonna put that much on my hand I'm gonna take the complexion brush so this has zero coverage for me okay as far as first impressions the sponge is working fantastic the tinted moisturizer on the other hand i think it's that it's just a moisturizer that is tinted and it's not going to give me any coverage it's not going to reduce any redness i do see like the lotion part on my face excuse the squeals that's my cute little baby i mean as a moisturizer it's nice 
I don't hate it, you know? So now I'm gonna go in with the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Foundation in the color 95N. And the reason I chose 95N is because that is my no filter foundation color. So I'm gonna try it out. I like this so far, I really do. I like the hydrating effect this is giving me. I really do like the dewy look, especially right now in the summer. We have like a heat wave warning right now in Arizona and it feels very, very lightweight. I like it, I like it. I'm kind of curious how medium 105N is going to look. Dang it, it's my color too, like, but I feel like right now that I'm not going outside as much, the 95 is more my color, but I feel like this one would be my color as well. Now I'm gonna go in with both concealers, the medium 90W and the light 45W. I'm gonna take the medium 90W and just conceal my dark spots in the inner corner right here. Ooh. I should have known because I got medium 90W, which is warm, and the foundation I'm wearing is N, which is neutral. So I think I just played myself like. I totally played myself. So for this one, the sponge is taking away the makeup. Look at that. I was rooting for you. The light is definitely better than the medium, but I think I definitely played myself with the W, dude. I don't have any powder, because I feel like it defeats the purpose of it being hydrating. All right, you guys, you know how I said I love the foundation, pretty fresh foundation? Well, I don't love it. And I, and here's why. Is it lightweight? Yes. But it's not sitting on my face correctly. Like, I don't know if you can see right here. Look at that pore. It's never been accentuated that way before. Look at this pore. I don't know, I don't know what to think of it. Like, um, you know what? For the summer heat, I feel like, I feel like it's pretty hydrating. Am I going to pack all this makeup on top of it? Probably not. Maybe some cream blush? Like, I definitely played myself with the concealers. Like, what was I thinking? getting a neutral foundation and a warm concealer like that's that's my bad that was my bad totally my bad but mm, I wouldn't say overall it's great it's okay it's okay will I continue to wear it because I spent the coin on it yes I am if you've tried pretty fresh makeup and you love it or you hate it or you're Eh, about it let me know in the comments below like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already you're already here so you might as well subscribe it's hundred and ten percent free that's it for this video I'm Yari you're awesome and I will see you later bye